Hello some viewers how are you all welcome back to another video guys in this video we are going to discuss how to handle alerts in puppeteer we can easily handle alerts in selenium and webdriver web io in puppeteer also it is very capable to handling alerts without any further ado let us start the video So for handling alerts, I'll just have a file. I'll name the file as handling alerts in Puppeteer, Puppeteer.js. What I'll do, I'll just copy the code from one of the other programs till we get to a page of till we get to a page of Chrome, right? So let me copy from this const, or we can just copy this const. And I'll add it here. That's it. So the const puppeteer variable equal to require puppeteer. This puppeteer variable will all have all the variables and the methods which are there in the puppeteer. So now I'll open a sample website which where we can see the JavaScript alerts. So as you can see in the website, JavaScript alerts, here are the some examples of different JavaScript alerts which can be troublesome for automation. So click on JS alert, it will come like this. I'm a JS alert, you can click on OK. Click on JS confirm, this is, will be a confirm alert where we can click OK and cancel. Let us click on OK, this is a prompt alert. So if we, we can enter something, I'll enter test, I'll click on OK. This simple uh, website where we can handling alert, where we can test our alerts. So I'll minimize the screen. So let us see the program. So what I'll do, I'll write a simple function, a sync function confirm alert. Here what I'll do, I will just write a describe block where I can call this function. So what I'll do, I'll just copy this up to here. I'll copy this up to here. I'll paste it in my handling alerts puppet here. I should have the closing braces. Yeah, I can copy this. So let us leave that. Describe it block for now. Let us concentrate on the function. So what do we need? Here? We can write a browser, a page event, etc. For that, let me create a simple browser. So browser, if we don't give anything, the default browser is Chrome. So let me create constant browser equal to await. Puppeteer where puppeteer where dot launch. So by default headless equal to headless equal to false. So I'll take constant page. What I'll put page await browser dot new page. Now we have to do a trigger event here. So I'll put page dot we have some method called on. If I open the on method, you can write event name here and the puppeteer object. Event name key of puppeteer dot puppeteer event object and handler. So what is the event? So alerts. In this sense, dialog box. So I need dialog. Here I'll see a sync dialog. I'll write arrow function. Open bracket. What I want to do here. I want to console log what the dialog message. You remember, here we will capture the message. What was the message? The alert throws. We want to print it. And if I put dialog.accept, what it will do? It will accept the message. It will close the, basically it will close the alert pop-up. dialog.pepper.com so await page dot go to and I, have, I need to go the same URL which I have shown you in the beginning. So let me copy the URL which I shown you for JavaScript alerts. So I have to find the element. So let me open that same URL. Let me inspect it. You can use uh, F12. So here we can find out exactly our xpath, control f. 
So what I'll do, I have to click on this button. So I'll do what? I'll do button. How many buttons are there? Three buttons are there. So I'll go for, I'll go for on click. So how many JS confirms are there? Only JS confirm one is there. So right, what I'll do, on click. So equal to, see? So on click to your JS confirm only one is there. So I'll copy this. So I'll minimize it. I can write the J path here. So I'll write await page dot. We can write this one X path. So I'll write X path here. So I have to put single quote quotations here. So now our X path is ready. Now I'll do what here? I'll do element element dot element dot key. And I'll call this function confirm alert inside our it block. So await and I'll write a proper describe block handling alerts test handling alerts. So once we have everything, uh, once we collect it, so I'll do what I will page dot I'll do wait for timeout. I'll put 3000. Afterwards, I'll close the browser. Browser dot. So now, what I'll do, I'll rename this so that I could take the name of the file and I'll put it in the package my package or JSON. So I'll paste it here. It has now launched the browser. Let me put a browser here. Let us see whether it is clicking the alerts and disabling it. Yes, you you saw the alert was there, right? See, it happened so quickly. So as soon as you launch the page, the confirm alert was there. It clicked on it and it closed the browser. So that's it for the video, guys. If you like the video, please click on like. If you're a new viewer, please click on subscribe. And also, guys, I'll put this link. I'll put this code in the description. Let me know if you have any doubts. Till then guys, bye bye, take care.